लास्ट पार्ट ऑफ द इलेक्ट्रोकेमिस्ट्री वीडियो इन दिस वीडियो आई शेल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द कंडक्टर्स कंडक्टिविटी कंडक्टेंस एंड द मोलर एंड नॉर्मल कंडक्टिविटीज सो लेट इज बिगिन विद द लिटिल बिट ऑफ फिजिक्स एंड डिसाइड दैट वॉट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन इलेक्ट्रो इलेक्ट्रॉनिक एंड इलेक्ट्रोलिटिक कंडक्टर्स सो वॉट आर इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कंडक्टर्स इन दिस टाइप ऑफ कंडक्टर्स देर इज नो डीकम्पोजिशन ऑफ द इलेक्ट्रॉन्स here the electrons in electronic conductors the electrons will be the charge carriers so we know in physics that there is no decomposition of electrons hence these are the electronic conductors now what are electrolytic conductors when current is passed we can see the decomposition of the particular ions there is decomposition of ions so like we can take as strong acid plus weak base weak acid plus strong base etc so these are the case where we have electrolytic conductors now we all know from physics that r is equal to rho l upon a now taking rho to the other side so i get 1 by rho is equal to 1 by r into l by a now 1 by rho is known as conductivity and 1 by r is known as conductance this is known as conductance this is known as conductivity i will be denoting conductivity by k and conductance by c so what we can generalize the formula as c is equal to k into l by a where l is the length and a is the area so we can see that l by a is a particular constant that we get for a cell because the ratio has to be a constant so this l by a l by a is known as the cell constant now these type of things are important for je mains not for je advanced okay so l by a is known as the cell constant other formulas we know that v is equal to ri and all the other basic formulas that we derive from physics so now let's get along to the molar conductivity now what is molar conductivity molar conductivity is represented by the symbol lambda m which is equal to 1000 k by m now what is molar conductivity k is the conductivity of the uh, solution that we take and m is the molarity okay so this is molar conductivity now what is normal conductivity so lambda m or it is it is also written to be as lambda e which is also known as equivalent conductivity is equal to 1000 k by n so what is this normal or equivalent conductivity okay so these are two basic terms from mole concept we all know that n is equal to n factor into n factor this is n factor so n factor into molarity hence we can relate molarity and normality and hence we can also relate the molar and the equivalent conductance now we all know by a rule in ncert that lambda m is equal to lambda m infinity minus v root c this is a basic relation that has already been asked once in je means so this is the huckel and debye rule so this is used for the strong electrolytes now let let me show you a graph which is experimental by the way so this graph is drawn between lambda m and root c so let me take two lines one by the red color and one by the blue color so we can see that this equation is for strong electrolytes strong electrolytes hence the plot for this equation will be a straight line because we can take this to be y this can be taken as x so on plotting we get a straight line so this is for the strong electrolytes okay now this is for the weak electrolytes the red chart the red graph is for the weak electrolytes i hope this this is clear yet so now let's move on further now let me take simple examples to prove you how to solve particular questions so a basic question that is asked is for lambda e so lambda e of ch3coh is asked okay given that lambda e not of ch3co minus na plus that is of its salt is a lambda e not of hcl 
इज इक्वल टू बी लैमडा ई नॉट ऑफ एन ए सी एल इज इक्वल टू सी सो वी हैव टू डिराइव दिस फ्रॉम दिस थिंग्स ना हाउ टू डिराइव इट इज सेम लाइक थर्मो डायनेमिक्स दैट वी यूज टू डू इन थर्मो केमिस्ट्री सो हाउ वी कैन डिराइव इट दिस कैन बी रिटर्न एज सी एच थ्री सी ओ माइनस मीन्स लैमडा ऑफ दिस प्लस लैमडा ऑफ एन ए प्लस इज इक्वल टू लैमडा ई ऑफ सी एच थ्री सी ओ माइनस एन ए प्लस बिकॉज वी नो इंडिविजुअल कंडक्टिविटीज कैन बी एडेड सो वी आर जस्ट एडिंग द बेसिक इक्वेशन फ्रॉम द सेकेंड इक्वेशन आई कैन गेट लैमडा ई नॉट ऑफ एच प्लस प्लस लैमडा ई नॉट ऑफ सी एल माइनस इज इक्वल टू लैमडा ई नॉट ऑफ एच सी एल ओके एंड फ्रॉम द थर्ड इक्वेशन आई गेट लैमडा ई नॉट ऑफ एन ए प्लस प्लस लैमडा ई नॉट ऑफ सी एल माइनस इज इक्वल टू लैमडा ई नॉट ऑफ एन ए सी एल ना वॉट वी डू लेटस ना लेट वी रिप्लेस दिस वैल्यू ना दिस वैल्यू इज गिवन टू बी ए सो लेट्स पुट ए हेयर दिस वैल्यू इज गिवन टू बी बी एंड दिस वैल्यू इज गिवन टू बी सी ना वॉट आई डू आई आई वॉन्ट टू डिराइव दिस थिंग सो दिस थिंग कैन बी रिटर्न द क्वेश्चन इज आस्क इज सी एच थ्री सी ओ माइनस प्लस लैमडा ई नॉट ऑफ एच प्लस सो आई हैव टू डिराइव दिस थिंग फ्रॉम दिस थ्री इक्वेशन ना हाउ टू डिराइव लेट्स रिवर्स द इक्वेशन नंबर थ्री रिवर्स थ्री सो इफ यू रिवर्स थ्री एंड देन एड एड वन प्लस टू प्लस रिवर्स ऑफ थ्री सो इफ आई रिवर्स दिस इट विल बिकम माइनस सी and this will go to the other side so if i add 1 2 and reverse of 3 i will be getting na plus and na plus to be cancelled cl minus and cl minus to be cancelled basic algebra so what i get so i get this thing which i was which i was needing to derive the equation so the thing will be a plus b minus c a plus b minus c because we are reversing the direction now let's take now let me ha huh, let me tell you a very important thing here thing here that when we have alcl3 or mgcl2 etc means which can be dissociated like it can be dissociated into al plus 3 plus 3 cl minus so basically i will be getting four type four ions basically here i was getting only two ions two ions so it was a easy question now how to solve such type of questions we have to take a particular value of n multiplied to the particular ions okay let's see so if i have to say lambda e not of al cl3 that will be lambda e not of al plus 3 plus lambda e not of cl minus we have to not place a 3 here we have to not place the 3 here but if i take lambda m not of al cl3 Means the molar conductivity, so it will be lambda m naught of Al plus three plus three lambda in m naught of Cl minus. So here I have to place a three here. So this is one very important point that you have to remember during the mathematical calculations for such type of questions. Okay. So let us take another example to prove it. If I have MgCl two, then the lambda e naught will be just the summation of the lambda e not of the particular ion so it will be lambda e not of sorry mg cl2 mg cl2 it will be mg plus 2 plus lambda e not of cl minus but what will be the value of lambda m for mg cl2 it will be uh, lambda m not of mg plus 2 plus 2 into lambda m not of cl minus here we have to multiply by 2 because in molar conductivity you have to take the number of ions also so this was one important point i hope that this video helps and if there are any questions you can definitely ask me at the end of the video thank you